All right, excuse me. You see that? I do like the music in here, though. You good? You good? Right, there is somewhere that I wanted to go. Hey. We have plenty of Aurora. Uh, that plate is exceptionally well balanced. Uh, Boone, how you doing, buddy? Yeah, you're new here, aren't you? Apparently so. My name's Boone Morgan, your new best friend on Neon. If you're here for a drink or listen to the music, I've got you covered. But if you're here for something a little more exciting, we have plenty of Aurora for sale. Yeah, I don't do chems. Oh, no, 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 no. Drugs are for street gangs and junkies. Aurora is on an entirely different level. I like to call it an exquisitely crafted transcendent experience. <laughs> Only problem is that won't fit on the package. Here, we'll take a look at the menu. Now, I'm not going to lie. The Aurora is a bit expensive, but <laughs> let's face it. Can you really put a price on pleasure? Is this how they sold cocaine in the 70s? 60s and 70s. I know it wasn't legal, but... Um... Penthouse? We can buy a penthouse in neon? No, thank you. Who created the music for this place? Pretty amazing, isn't it? That's Borealis, only 19 years old, and yet she produces some of the most heart-pounding, trippiest electronic music you've ever heard. I don't know where she gets her inspiration, but I'm betting all that free Aurora she gets has something to do with it. So I have a meeting here later, and I'm kind of worried about security. The Astro Lounge is one of the safest places in all of Neon. Security is hand-picked from the finest officers in the city. Say I needed to control the doors, prevent someone from walking out. I'm afraid that would be a serious fire hazard. And I think it's only fair to warn you that the network security on our doors is state of the art. Okay, what if a fight broke out and I needed security on my side? Then I would say you'd be interested in the Astral Lounge VIP package. For a reasonable fee, our security can be your security. 4,000 seems a little high for a five-minute meeting. We do strive for setting the most reasonable rate. Surely a business like Stroud Eklund already has VIP status. Huh. You work for Stroud Eklund? Well, perhaps something could be arranged. You lower the fee, and I'll make sure to stop by the Astral Lounge every chance I get. A loss leader. I make you pay less now, in the hopes you'll pay more over time. Hmm. Well, I think we can certainly offer a discounted rate for you. Smart if my you're still interested. I would love to be a VIP of the Astral Lounge. Excellent. Let me just apply that discount we discussed, and done. We do hope your meeting goes to your satisfaction. I don't know why I'm scrimping on... Because I'm going to, like, invoice Stroud all of this anyway, right? So, let me see a menu. Start with a drink, perhaps? Sounds good to me. Wow, Aurora is expensive. Oh, they even have gherkins. I love gherkins. Oh! The Bayo Private Reserve. A rare cognac, possibly of old earth origin, kept in a crystal vessel. Or decanting. Plus 15 persuasion chance is pretty nice, but minus 20% oxygen recovery. The lounge special looks a little bit like steak and crinkle cut oven chips. Steak doesn't even look well cooked. Red kits are cheap now. Melon caviar. No, thank you. Solomon's reserve. That is a... This is such a... 
the sparkling wine is in a beautiful, beautiful uh, bottle of exquisite design. Your sparkling water is in a bag. <laughs> Thanks, Boon. Come back soon. Yes, what? Yeah, what? What? I, I'm a specialist. Can, yeah. can I join your crew? No, the answer is no. I can't even get Andreja to join my crew. So you know this staff only bit. Straight into the DJ lounge. Hey there, what's up? Hey. Yeah, sorry, I don't do autographs. I was gonna offer you mine. <laughs> now that would be something new for a change. You can't even imagine how many people ask for an autograph or picture after we've been modding all night. It gets really annoying. Modding? That's an interesting way of putting DJing. No need to get so upset. <sighs> yeah, you're right. Sorry. I'm just pretty bummed out right now. My music slate's gone. Completely vanished. I had all of my new songs figured out on that thing, and someone ripped me off. Total drag. Well, it sounds like you need my help. Oh man. Wow. That'd be so cool. Yeah, please. I thought I sensed a decent aura around you when you walked up. Uh, if it keeps the music flowing, then it's worth the effort. I do like this music. Exactly. So, anything you can do to help is appreciated. Oh, and if you're looking for a lead, talk to Maika. She works the bar at Euphorica, and she's a walking grapevine. Anyway, I got to figure out how I'm going to mod my next set. I'll see you around, okay? Do you have any idea who might have taken your slate? Hmm. Well, most of the people who come through here are fans, and they're either zoned or just digging the rhythms. That leaves collectors, competitors, or just a thief trying to make a cred. It could be anyone, really. People try to put a price on everything. It doesn't matter if it's music or the stars. If that price is big enough, you start attracting people with bad vibes and long knives. Only a matter of time before you get cut. That's uh, an interesting way of putting it. Yeah, I'm going to go now. Zone safe. I don't zone. I'm turning into less of a lovable space cowboy and more into a lovable space fixer. Save it for someone who gives a damn. I'm paying your wages for the next five minutes. We've been in all these booths. I don't expect anything to have changed. They could at least tidy up. Oh, oh, we found the... We found the private reserve. Nice. It's not going to screw me for the next one, is it? That would do that, that's fine then. And then we spin that round. Novice, I don't think you can fail. We have been approved to control the door so we can self lock it. That's cool. And the room is booked by Redacted. Boone, you are a smart man. I never had the patience for computer systems. That's why we're a great team. Let's get out of here. I now have control on some of the Astral Lounge security. Maybe I can kill Bayou with that power. 
something like some Aurora to take the edge off. Yeah, I ain't into that kind of thing, mate. Stroud? I don't like the look of you. I don't like the look of you either. Don't hear me bitching about it. Stroud? Is everything ready? Find out the cell is getting pretty desperate. Gives us the edge. Excellent. Good work. Let's head to the Astral Lounge. I'd like to be able to tell him the oh, other I'm things we've done as well. See you at the next board meeting? Oh, I'll be keeping an eye on this little operation. Just in case. Good luck, all of you. I like his wife more than I like him. I don't mind Stroud. He's... he's I don't really think we've seen a lot of him, but his wife seems really clued in. And the brains of the operation. Stroud's the whimsical visionary, and she's the, the money person. Get in here. Ah. Meeting time. Meet and greet. Buy the artifact. Head home. Sleep in my own bed. That's the plan tonight. Is there a type of weapon Combatech won't make? Uh, uh, one that fires ants. Some of the lines these NPCs say is just stupid. I suppose that's a Bethesda thing, though. Wow, Stroud, you're pretty spry for an old guy. Are you checking out that poor citizen? You weirdo. All right, we're here. Now... I don't know what the cellar looks like, but they'll have a security briefcase with them. Larger than normal. Big enough to hold the artifact. Pretty big, then. We should split up. The code phrase to identify yourself as the buyer is Ramsey and Travers. Ramsey and Travers? The scientists who discovered neon gas? Are they? <laughs> Use the code phrase to identify the seller. Got it. Code phrases? Under different circumstances, Walter, I think you might have made an adequate smuggler. Remember, Ramsey and Travers. We'll meet back near the elevator. Don't you dismiss Andreja like that. She knows what she's doing. This Aurora stuff is blowing my mind! How NPCs operate in this game is is also odd. But I think that's an observation coming from Baldur's Gate. Oh, these bathrooms are a mess. The bot broke. Oh my god. Wow, they're an absolute mess. Yes. I know, buddy. You keep working hard. I guess this is what happens when you let robots do everything and humans don't have the human touch. Well, that looks like a briefcase. Nina Hart. Was she the one who we got probably got fired? I think she is. Musgrove, that's the guy. What is it? Can't you see I'm busy drinking? It doesn't look like you're drinking to me, my friend. I'm with Samwise and Gabbers. <laughs> I'm with Ramsey and Travers. Oh, really? I heard you all have a meeting in a few minutes, don't you? 
in one of those fancy VIP lounges. You're well connected. Speaking of which, I gotta get going myself. Excuse me. Yeah. Okay, hello. Pardon. Look at the old guy busting out some moves. You go, Granddad. Hey, wanna dance? Uh, I'm good for right now. <laughs> I just saw our cellar walk by. Good job. He seems cagey to me, angry even. That's not surprising. This is a deal over stolen property, after all. Anything could go wrong. So he knows now, it's stolen. Now before we head in there. Let me go over the ground rules. He'll ask for twice what we agreed on. That's normal. He'll probably try to walk out. That's normal, too. Don't worry about the amount we actually settle on. The Stroud Eklund Discretionary Fund is just a chip to you and me. Our goal is to get him to accept that chip in exchange for the artifact. Anything goes as long as it's in our hands and we're not dead. How does that sound? Anything goes. So one, he doesn't care about money. His discretionary fund is a company fund that he has to justify to the board members and he doesn't care how high that amount goes. That's worrying from a businessman. I suppose this is a scientific priceless artifact that we're dealing with though. Um, and also he just said anything else goes. Uh, what if things get messy? That's why you're here. Hopefully our combined countenance will be enough, but grabbing the artifact and running is an option. <laughs> uh, just do me a favor and treat it as a last resort. I have a reputation. Easy enough. But I am going to have to put on my, uh, I'll take my jacket off. Now we look a little bit more threatening. Let's go. Alright. Move along. She's clearly having a bad day. Hey, little buddy. Yeah, I know. I hear you. Ah, you're both here. So you, Stroud, you look different in person. Our public relations always insists on doing some touch-ups for the official photos. Embarrassing, really. Your security here going to stand or sit for this little meeting, making me nervous. I'll sit. No need for pleasantries. So polite. Almost makes me forget what planet I'm on. Am I to assume that briefcase has our item of interest? Yeah, here it is. Well, look at that. One of a kind, and I know you want it. I have the amount we agreed on. Uh-uh. Things have changed. I want double. Now how am I supposed to do that? I don't know, but your security here seems to have some fancy gear. Why don't they chip in? Stop bluffing. We know you need to sell quickly. Oh, really? And how do you know that? Who talked? Does it matter? We know you're in a fix, and we're still willing to buy. For the agreed-upon amount. I got people after me, okay? I can't just settle on what we agreed on. I need more so I can disappear. That's not our problem. We came here expecting one amount. Now you want another. You telling me Walter Stroud ain't got the cash? I'll walk out of this booth right now. No, you won't. You still need the money. I leave now. I can get a jump start on the people after me, instead of you all wasting my time. You'd be on your way already if you just take the money I'm offering you and shut up. 
What's it going to be? Take or walk? I... Ah. Uh... You know what? Andreja hit the door. What the? Security! Yeah, you're not going anywhere until we have a deal. As you can see, we're in control. Take advantage of our generosity. Take the money. All right. Okay. It's all yours. Hope I never see any of you people ever again. We have it. This couldn't have gone better. Well done. Some high-pressure tactics, but we got what we were after. That's how I roll. Shall we? Let me put my jacket on. All right. Stop right there. You're in possession of Slayton Aerospace property. Ah. And what now? Slayton must have been the original owner. We don't need to do this. All's fair on Neon. Am I right? Hand over Mr. Slayton's property. Now. Don't do this. Don't die just to get a rock back. It's my employer's property. That's all I need to know. You gonna make me shoot you? We didn't steal anything. We purchased it. We're happy to talk this over with Neon Security. Hold on. Let's keep Neon Security out of this. I figured that's where it would go. I didn't come here looking for a fight. No! Give me a chance to talk to Slayton directly. We can sort this out. I'm here for the rock. I'm not your messenger service. Damn it. Neither of us wants to risk the worst happening. Nobody wants that. That's what I like to hear. I'm trying to be reasonable here. Huh. All right. But Nicholas Slayton isn't a man you want after you. Good luck with that. Sending on men to the Astral Lounge. Slayton must be serious about getting the artifact back. We'd better get off the planet quickly. I agree. Let's go. I'm still not in shotgun territory just yet. Oh, that's still stealing, apparently. Even though it's just been left there. Something's gone wrong, hasn't it? Slayton has put a bounty on your heads. He's greased a few palms. Your ship's been impounded at the spaceport. Walter, that's my ship. There goes our way out. Who is Nicholas Slayton, anyway? The CEO of Slayton Aerospace. They're a systems manufacturer. Engines, thrusters... Good engines. How did they know it was us? The same way everything works on Neon. Money. It's terrible at keeping secrets. <laughs> That's fair. So much for this being easy, Walter. Yes, yes, I'm fully aware this has not gone according to plan. Slayton Aerospace has offices here in the Trade Tower. If Nicholas is moving this quickly, he must be there or close by. Let's head to their lobby, shall we? See if we can make an appointment. I'm gonna flash my the pearly whites, see what I can amazing. do. Okay, you know what? Maybe it's time we go from Space Rogue to Space Scoundrel. If I'm dealing with the higher-ups and we need to smooth over some issues... How the hell do I get roped into this crap? I suppose it is going to give me a dragon shout, so... And I do like Slayton engines. It would be a shame to have a grudge against their own own. Oh, we have red markers. 
Interesting. Nobody's shooting yet. Hi, Riley. Welcome to Slayton Aerospace. Can I help you? I need to make an appointment to see Mr. Slayton. I'm afraid Mr. Slayton is a very busy man. I have a, an exciting business opportunity to discuss with him. Hmm. Maybe I can see if he has just a moment. I won't need to take up much of his time. We just had a misunderstanding. Maybe I could squeeze you in. Let me see. I'm going to auto-persuade this because I feel like this is a big one. He did? Oh, yes, I do remember overhearing something about that. Oh, I think we can make an exception in your case. Mr. Slayton will see you. Just use the elevator. Thank you, Riley. You have a great rest of the evening. Sometimes you gotta talk first. And shoot later. Let's go and see this guy. See if we can Wait. smooth over these wrinkles. This clearly isn't the executive level. He's on to us. Walter! Uh. Taking what's mine, then breaking into my office. Hey, we have an appointment. One easily counted. Oh, we're trapped. Hello, Walter, dear, are you there? Isa? Isa? Took longer than I'd like, but I managed to pay off one of Slayton's security consultants. They've patched me in. All right, we've got her out. Once the door's open, just follow her instructions, okay? Follow her instructions, understood. I'm aware of the irony of me continuing to say it'll be easy. But it'll be easy. Doors will open in three, two, one. Slayton's guards and employees are all over. Be careful. Okay. You'll want to use the vent system to slip around unnoticed. There's a cupboard just to the right of the elevator you came in on. Okay. Everybody in. Nobody needs to know where we are. Oh, is there any contraband in these vents? That's the elevator you came in on. Jump right across the top of it and keep going to the end. I don't feel like that should be the elevator that we came in on. I don't want to drop down there. Uh, I feel like we're going to save this as well. Drop down and follow the conduit all the way to the end, past the fork. Easy enough. There's a vent above you. <clears throat> Just climb up. Which way are we going? I really want to shoot them. The room below you is clear. Drop down. Uh, okay. Stop. One of the doors leads you right into the open. I'm unlocking a safe route. Opening the door on your right. Go now. Okay. Head left, but don't go through the door at the end yet. There's a robot stalking the hall. Wait. It's walking down the hall. Go now, straight across to the door. Walter, what did you do? Walter, what did you do? Through here? Wait, there's people in the room up ahead. Closing the shutters. These shows. Nice. Another robot 
right up ahead. Wait for it to pass, then head straight across to the maintenance door next to the security gate. Go now. Let me just get that for you. Thank you. Security is on full alert. No point slipping through unnoticed now. You had to fight your way to the exit. Oh, come off it. We were doing everything you asked us to do.